So you just sit right here and then we'll call us. I'll just, yeah, I'll, I'll put that chicken right in my pocket. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm headed to my uh, buddy John's house, meet my other buddy Jeff, and we're gonna go gator hunting. We're gonna try to get some gators here and uh, hopefully get some good footage for you. Stay tuned. Here at the airport. Didn't realize I was coming to the airport before I went gator hunting. Filling up the uh, airboat. What it is, Jeff? What it is, dog. You ready for some gator hunting? Yeah. Are you ready to spill some more milkshake? Absolutely. <laughs> Skater of the night. We have to travel from uh, the boat launch, which is the Stig March, headed through the uh, canals, and it's old a uh, a bunch of old farmland and uh, orange groves that got converted back into swamp. They've been uh, trying to convert some of the old swamp back into into habitat for the wildlife. It's kind of a cool project. Kind of doing a little little boat ride to the like, hunting area. Get to see some birds and some gators along the way. So we put in at the stick marsh and drive over some dikes. This is in a. Uh, fast since so in uh twice as fast speed here for the video because it's a long ride but uh had to do a voiceover because it's so loud couldn't really talk while we were on on the airboat so here if you see us pointing there's some gators going under the water and well, eventually we'll end up here at uh, Keenansville Lake. My first time hunting Keenansville, so it's a new experience for me. Never been on an airboat before, and never been in this lake hunting before, so it's kind of scout trip. to say my first impressions of an airboat are pretty pretty good I like them you can get about anywhere they are loud very loud though so you have to wear earplugs or headphones earmuffs to 
protect your hearing. Here's my buddy G Jeff, and my buddy John is driving. That's John's boat. All right. So I'm out here. Beautiful nature. I'm the wild. I'm trying to see if I can not. Uh, me and my buddies can get a gator. I got got for gator. We got gator permits this year, so you allow two gators for your permit. You get two tags for your permit. So saw some nice gators on the way in, but they were not in the zone that we were able to hunt. So I'm uh, we're out here in my actual area that I can hunt and just kind of scouting. I haven't seen anything yet though. See anything, Jeff? I didn't move it going down that one little, that standalone little piece out there. I feel like we saw a lot of them on the way coming in here. So you just sit right here and then we'll call us. I'll just, yeah, I'll, I'll put that chicken right in my pocket. <laughs> like something came out through here, crawled out through here, scooted in over here, little pathway coming down, scoots in here. set of bait. Saw a nice gator right here. Tie up our dead chicken to the line. Rigged up. Gotta try to keep an eye on that. Don't want the line going to the propeller. <laughs> little painter tape on it. Yeah. So we're gonna try to spot gators. You can see their eyes glowing when you shine the lights on them. So the idea is to run up on them and get close enough where you can get a harpoon in them. So we're going to try that out for a little while. So we see some eyes up ahead.
There's a little guy. It's kind of quick. It's really hard to judge the size of an alligator by the shining of its eyes. An alligator's, an alligator's little eyes will shine from quite a distance when you shine a light on them. About the only good way to judge from a distance is if you see separation between the eyes. Uh, it's a good indicator. The bigger distance between the eyes, the bigger gator. So, so far, we've only been seeing uh, small gators, so... Decided to call it a night. That's pretty good. You did it. You did it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so <clears throat> that was my first time on the airboat. It was a little different than how I normally do it. Normally we are in a different lake. So yeah, that was more of a scout mission. We, uh, there's a lot of small gators in that lake. We're kind of being a little more choosy on uh, what we wanted to take because we didn't want to take a real small one. There was like, we probably saw close to 100 gators that night got up close enough to harpoon but they were all running like some four or five feet but a lot of them were three feet and under saw two nice gators that were bigger than that but there was a few other boats out there uh, like i said that's uh not the not the uh, area I normally hunt but that's where i got the tags for this year so gave it a shot um i'll be going out later to do some more gator hunting there but um in the meantime I will uh, just want to show you this skull that I did. This is off of a, uh, a 12 footer from last year, but I'll be making a video on how um, how I did this. So hope you enjoy this video. Till next time. Oh.